Hello, Namaste, Salam Walaikum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at Vareva.com. Today we are going to make a dish what Italians call arancini. And they are nothing but rice balls. But today I am going to make a vegetarian Indianized version. Any Italian sees it, they will have a shock and they will not know what balls to call them or whose balls to call them. But this is a fantastic dish. Let's go and make this. You know, we all make samosas. But can you imagine instead of that flaky outer ring, we're going to have the rice on the outer with nice samosa and cheese masala inside. So let's go ahead and make first the stuffing inside. So take some oil. You know, the oil is hot. We're going to put some cumin seeds in this. We're going to add some onions. You know, this is like any samosa mixture. You can make it with meats. Today I'm going to stick to vegetarian. But if you want to add, you can also add some minced meat to this. Some ginger garlic paste. Just cook so that all the raw flavor is gone. Then add chopped green chilies, green peas, chili powder, coriander powder. You can add cumin powder and garam masala powder also. Add some chopped coriander. Add potatoes which are cut into small pieces. Salt and you know if you want you can add cashew nut or anything into this. Here I've got processed cheese. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add to this. I'm not going to cook them because it's going to melt. Mix this and switch off the flame. This is the stuffing. I'm going to keep it on the side. Now we're going to play around the rice. You know, even if you have leftover rice at home, you can just make this preparation. For this, I've got some rice, which I freshly cooked. In this, add some grated cheese. You know, you can add a lot more cheese, but this should be good enough. And some egg yolk. Just for this much rice, I'm using two egg yolks. And I've got some saffron coloring here, just to make this rice look a little bit yellowish. To mix all of this, add uh, some salt and I'm going to add some chopped coriander. If you like oregano or any other herbs also, you can add, add some chopped coriander. I think this should be good enough. You know, I don't want to make more. Now, this is all done. Okay. Divide them into equal size uh, portions like this. Just press them flat a little bit. And then, you know, we can put this, uh, our stuffing. Let the stuffing go inside. Well, the rice coats on the top. Now you can shape it the way you want. You can shape it like a pear or even like a cutlet also or rounds also. For me, this shape looks good. I've got some oil ready to fry and I've got these dumplings also ready. Now I have got three things. One thing is flour, egg white and then the breadcrumbs. Here in the flour I added some salt and pepper. Just mixing it so that even outside there is a nice flavor. Take the dumpling, just put it in the flour so that uh, it coats on this egg nicely. And then dip it in the egg. It's fantastic. And then apply the breadcrumb. Okay, this is a fresh breadcrumb I just made with the fresh bread. You know, you can use the regular breadcrumb also. Now, you can see that uh, this is perfect. What you do is just put it in a strainer like this and drop them. I can fry two at a time. Now, these are all super fried. Dear friends, with nice samosa stuffing with the rice outing. We love to eat rice. We love samosas. This is a great combination and in between. So, let's go ahead and let's see the stuffing inside. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. The Italian style Mamma Mia. Wow. Look at this with the sauce. Dear friends, you know, for this, do not make much of spicy sauce. Just like um, make a delicate tomato sauce. God, I got to cry for this. It's so tasty, so yummy. Mm, 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 mm. You have to try this. This is just out of the world. I'm telling you, arancini is awesome. And even if I Indianize it, it is still that much awesome. You know, we had some nice good potato. I put some cheese also. And the God, 
you have to eat this to believe it you know wow ah oh, some mild tomato sauce along with this mm. but do not forget varava is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you